For this experiment I've added a shot key diode in series with the white LED and then I've placed a uh, polyester capacitor across the LED. So the capacitor should give us a nice stable voltage that we can measure. The reason you can't leave out a second diode, it can be a shot key, a normal diode, even just another LED. The reason you can't leave that out and put your capacitor straight across the shining LED is the fact that that capacitor will maintain a constant voltage on the gate that will prevent the circuit from oscillating. In order to oscillate, this gate must be able to fluctuate in voltage. My heat sink is at 23 degrees centigrade and this cup of water is at 37 so that would obviously represent body heat. And there you can see the voltage two and a half volts across that white LED. Now an interesting thing is going to happen if I remove the LED because right now the LED is acting as a relief valve preventing the capacitor from charging up further. And there goes the voltage. That's gone up to 25 volts from 2.5. So right now that shot key diode is preventing the current from reversing. That's the function that an LED would normally perform in that position. Right now I guess that discharge is happening because the heat sink is starting to heat up. A bit more water. This Forty-six volts. Temperature is 55 degrees centigrade. While we're at it, let's take the voltage across the Peltier plate itself. And okay, that is 245 millivolt. I did notice that there is a change in maximum voltage achieved over the capacitor depending on what type of capacitor and also on what type of diode is used and ironically the normal shot key diode or rectifier type diode doesn't give the same high voltage as a conventional yellow LED. The temperature in the cup is 50 and the temperature on the heatsink is 27. The output on the Peltier plate is just under 210 millivolt. Let's see what the boost, what the voltage is on the capacitor. fifty four point two volt. So fifty four divided by point two one that gives a decent voltage boost of two hundred and fifty seven. And just to make sure that we do indeed have a nice high voltage on that capacitor we should see a healthy spark of discharge if I short it out.